Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Creating Essence. I am Megan, thank you so much for stopping by. It's great to have you. Today I am joining in on a collaboration. Uh, this was organized by Rachel at Day to Day Joys and there are a whole bunch of other ladies taking part. The playlist will be linked in the info box below. Please go check it all out. What we are doing today is sharing with you our five favorite kitchen gadgets. Some are gonna be high tech, some, some are gonna be low tech. There's gonna be so many different things of all different lifestyles and ways of eating. So I am sure you will find all sorts of things to give you tips and pointers and potentially show you something that could make your life a lot easier. So check it out. Here are mine. First up, I have my KitchenAid mixer. This thing is amazing. I love it. It came with the paddle, the dough hook, and the whisk attachment. I also have a meat grinder attachment, which is amazing. This thing helps so many different ways in my everyday life in the kitchen. I use it several times a week, and it's been going strong for years. I purchased mine on a really good sale a few years ago at Kohl's. I will include a link below. Next up, I have my stick blender or immersion blender. This is fairly new to me. I've only had it about a year, but it was $14. It, I got it on a great sale and it is useful for so many things. I can use this to make sauces, just put the sauce in a bowl and then put this in and put it on low or high and instantly puree that sauce or vinaigrette into a nice emulsified mixture. I can put it in the crock pot to really puree up whatever's in there. I can put it in a pot on the stove and puree soups and sauces into really smooth, textures really really easily. I highly recommend this. I got this at Target on sale about a year ago. Next up I have my bread machine. This is a Zoji Rushi Virtuoso. I got it on a really great sale stacking Kohl's cash and Kohl's rewards points on top of the sales price. So I got it a great deal on it. It makes one and a half to two pound loaves. It has so many different settings. You can do quick breads or regular. So many different things you can do on basic, whole wheat. It even gives you settings and recipes for different gluten-free breads, a dough setting, and you can make jams and cakes and even make a sourdough starter using this. It is super easy. It comes with a great, really detailed owner's manual and recipe book that gives you so many ideas and so much information. This is key to saving money and eating clean in our family. I have done a video on how to make bread with this bread machine our toasting and sandwich honey wheat bread. I will put that in iCard in the corner for you to see. Next up we have my crock pots. One of them is currently in use making yogurt right now, which was totally not planned, but I needed yogurt and I got it going. I will post a link to my video on how to make crock pot yogurt in the corner in case you are interested, but I use these, both of them, several times a week. This is a large capacity one, the largest I've ever been able to find. This is a pretty standard medium size one. There is a size in between these two that I used to have, but when it broke, I replaced it with an even larger one because this works great for us. I use these so many ways every single week. It is how they are absolutely key to how we eat wholesome, clean, mostly organic, from scratch food on a budget all the time. And lastly, I have my Vitamix. 
Now this was a significant investment. However, it has been worth it in every way possible. I have been using this at least once a day for the last three years and it is still like new. It is an amazing thing that does so much more than your average blender. This is the wet canister that comes standard with the blender. This is the tamper for the top. It also has a lid like this one that fits in here so you don't have to, top, have to take the top off to pour things in, but for thicker things, you have this tamper that comes standard that you can put down that is specifically made to not hit the blades even when you go to the sides to make sure the corners are cleaned out. This is the dry canister and I bought this extra. This I can use for so many things. I can make flowers of all kinds. If you watched that video on how to make bread that I linked, you will see that I ground my grain in this. I can buy wheat berries in bulk and make my flour fresh in this. It saves so much money. It adds so much more nutrients to our bread and it's so easy. I can also buy organic coffee beans in bulk and save a lot of money that way for a really great product. Grind our beans in here. I can grind herbs and spices and I can make so many kinds of flour. I can make almond flour, quinoa flour, oat flour, really any kind of flour I have tried. This has done an amazing job of it no matter how hard the items are that I put in there. It does the job perfectly. I couldn't ask anything more of it. It has a lot of great settings. There's the standard blender settings. There's the smoothie setting. Frozen desserts, which we love to make ice cream. I just, or frozen yogurt, really. I put yogurt and frozen fruit and a little honey in there. And it makes soft serve frozen yogurt. Hot soups, you can put cold ingredients and some stock in there. Uh, in the wet canister and it purees it up and makes a hot steaming soup in just a couple of minutes. It's amazing. It really does so much more than your average blender. And that is it. Those are my five favorite kitchen gadgets. I use all of these things several times a week, some of them every single day in my family. I could not do what I do without them. All of them help me make great food for my family and help me save money in lots of ways. I hope you found that informative. Don't forget there is a playlist of lots of other ladies posting about their favorite kitchen gadgets linked below. And I will also have each of these things linked wherever I bought them in the info box below. They're not affiliate links. I don't have beef with affiliate links, but mine aren't. It's just showing you where I got them. And I guarantee you every single one I got on sale. That's just how I roll. <laughs> but thank you so much for sticking around, friends. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And tell me in the comments below if you have any of these things or if you have a different version of any of these kinds of products that you really love. Thank you so much, friends. Bye-bye.